Okay, ladies and gentlemen, continuing on factoring, what we're looking at now is chapter 7. We started this on Friday. We did common factoring on Friday. The videos are up there for you. Make sure that you go over them. And we're looking right now at factoring simple trinomials. Now, what it means to factor a trinomial is to go the reverse of expanding and simplifying two binomials. So here I have two binomials being multiplied. X times X is X squared. X times 2 is 2X. 5 times X is 5X. And 5 times 2 is 10. This gives us, these are like terms, X squared plus 7X plus 10. This is a trinomial. When we go this way, it's called expanding. What we're going to learn today is how to go this way how to take a trinomial back to its two binomials. So, and that's called factoring. And it's a special type of factoring. It's actually called trinomial factoring because you're taking a trinomial and factoring it. And again, here's another example. Two binomials, we expand them. x squared minus 3x plus 6x minus 18. And that becomes x squared plus 3x minus 18, and what we have now is a trinomial here. And we want to be able to go backwards. We want to take it back to its two binomials. And what's going to help us do that is noticing that these two numbers are two numbers that are here. And those two numbers multiply to give 18, and these two numbers add to give this 3. And that's going to be important. So we're going to start off by practicing how to come up with numbers that add to something and multiply to something. So here's our examples down below. What we want to do is find a number that will multiply to the top number and add to the bottom number. So I want two numbers that will multiply to 6 and add to 5. Well, the answer is 2 and 3. 2 and 3 will add to 5 and multiply to 6. What about 40? We want two numbers that will multiply to 40 and add to 13. Now, 40 is a harder number to do. I suggest you work out a factor tree. Factor trees are going to give you all of the pairs of numbers that multiply to give 40. So if I take 40 and divide by 1, I get 1 and 40. If I take 40 and divide by 2, I get 2 and 20. If I take 40 and divide by 3, it does not go evenly. There's no decimals in it. We don't want decimals in this factor tree. Divide by 4, we get 10. Divide by 5, 40 divided by 5 is 8. Notice how I can use a calculator there if I need to. I can do 40 divided by 6. It doesn't go evenly. It's a decimal. I can do 40 divided by 7. It doesn't go evenly. 40 divided by 8 is 5. Now. See how these double over? This is 5 times 8 and 8 times 5. You can stop as soon as it repeats. You can get rid of any that aren't an even factor. All of these pairs multiply to 40. That's how we got them. Each one of those pairs of numbers multiply to 40. What we now want is which ones add to give 13. So we know all of the ones that multiply to give 40 by doing the factor tree. And which ones add to give 13? Well, it's 5 and 8. And there they go. We can check it. 5 times 8 is 40. And 5 plus 8 is 13. 12. Well, let's look at the factor tree method again. 12 divided by 1 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. See how these have doubled over? We can stop. These are all the whole number factors of 12. So now the question is, which ones add to give 7? Well, it's going to be 4 and 3. We continue. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give 8 and add to give 9. 1 and 8 work. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give 70 and add to give 17. I'm thinking 7 and 10. Let's see if it works. 70, 17. It works. Now all that's left is to do variations on a theme. So this one, 
everything's positive. In this line, we're going to do some that have a negative product. So we want it to multiply to give negative 18, but add to give a positive 3. So now we've got to be worried about sign. So this is 3 and 6. 3 and 6 will multiply to give 18, but they'll multiply to give positive 18. So one of them needs to be negative. They add to give positive 3, so it must be negative 3. Let's see how that works. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. 28. Well, that one's a little bit tougher, so I think I'll do my factor tree. 1 and 28. 2 and 14. I don't know if 28 divides by 3. I don't think so. Nope, not evenly anyway. 28 divided by 4, however, is 7. And 4 and 7 give 3. Notice, and that's my 3 that I want. So 4 and 7, but I need a negative 28, so 1 has to be negative. And they add to give a negative 3, so it's negative 7. And we keep going. Two numbers that multiply to give 4, or negative 4, but add to give 0. Negative 2 and positive 2. 56, that's a harder one. I would use a factor tree, because that one's hard on my head. So 1 and 56. 2 and... 28. 56 divided by 3. Doesn't go evenly. 56 divided by 4 is 14. 56 divided by 5 won't go evenly. Divided by 6 won't go evenly. 56 divided by 7. 8. And then 8 and 7. It repeated itself. So I'm done. These are all the groups. These are all the pairs of numbers that will multiply to give 56. That are whole numbers. They need to add to give 1, so I'm thinking 7 and 8, and it's going to have to be negative 7 and positive 8. 15 will be 5 and 3, I know that, I just now have to figure out where the negative goes, negative 5, because it's a negative 2. And the last line that we have, we're going to be looking for a positive product, positive multiplication, but a negative sum. So two numbers that multiply to 10 but add to negative 11, 10 and 1, both negative. Negative times negative gives positive, and when I add them, I get negative 11. 20, well, two numbers that multiply to give 20 is 5 and 4, I'm thinking, and they do add to give 9 as long as they are both negative. 22, that one's a little bit harder. Maybe I'll go and use a factor tree. So 22 is 1 and 22, 2 and 11, uh, that's about it. So, oh, but good news, 2 and 11 add to give 13. As long as one's negative, the other one's negative, they add to give negative 13 and they multiply to give positive 22. 12, I'm thinking 4 and 3. They have to add to give a negative and they multiply to give a positive. So it becomes a bit of a game after a while. 30. I'm thinking 5 and 6, and let's see, positive 30, negative 11, it works. What you need to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is flip through your packet, find this page, do an entire row, do another row, do another row, and at the end of each row, flip over and check your answers. There's answers on the back, but do a complete row and make, then go and check your answers. The better you are at this, the easier factoring is going to be, and we'll be back in just a moment.